show was filmed on December 15th in the city of San Jose. Uh, this is the aftermath of Columbus Park. Uh, this area is located directly across from the large uh, noise abatement area, the FAA, um, <clears throat> sometimes it's referred to as the crash zone, uh, Spring Street, uh, a lot of different names for it. Uh, this is the ball field where basically everyone moved to uh, when they hit the third zone. Uh, this was jam-packed. city never set anything up for people to really go to, and it's kind of one of those things, what do they expect? The neighborhoods uh, surrounding the area are jam-packed with motorhomes and cars. It's the same way for the businesses that lead from Coleman over near Bellarmine. Same thing, just absolutely jam-packed with n nowhere for anyone to go. Our incompetent city tried to set up a staging area, and I believe there's about 15 motorhomes that are in there. And you will see that area near the end of this video um, as I drive out Spring Street. Basically, everybody was moved from right here, what you're looking at, uh, to the adjacent ball field. So it, it was uh, ridiculous that they could not set up a dignified area, uh, bring in some lighting, the proper security. Um, we have brick and mortar bathrooms over here that could have been uh, retrofitted to handle showers. Um, you know, rather than bringing in the uh, companies to flush out the porta shitters all the time. Uh, this guy right here, he doesn't even clean these things properly. It's a city contract. It's an absolute joke. Um, you know, you look over when they sign the things off and they're not cleaned properly. Um, you know, nobody gets a clean shitter out at Spring Street. Um, we're going to get over here to the side and you're going to be able to see the fencing that was put in. You know, another fence, another K rail, uh, another thing that's not a solution. The net that they have uh, basically tossed out is a massive area. It's not just a, uh, a small sweep. But basically going from all the way down the Guadalupe over to 87, Coleman, they're hitting every single camp. Um, the city basically stabbed all the advocates in the back that were uh, trying to help, um, you know, facilitate uh, different people into the proper housing, into the proper placement. Uh, even things with towing vehicles. I mean, I couldn't tell you how many vehicles I towed with my van. Uh, Richard Scott towed with his truck. Uh, just unbelievable how much stuff we moved. This last route, I've heard the city has been uh, in and out with parts, other homeless people, trying to get them to tow other people's vehicles out of there uh, when they could have just contracted with the proper towing company and actually towed these RVs to get where? An actual dignified safe parking program. We could have set that up at the fairgrounds. There's plenty of other city properties. We could have vetted people out. We could have had something that was success story other than the disaster that's out here at Spring Street. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, I'm going to try to get some more stuff up here shortly. This is from December 15th. Um, the area after when you watch this video, when we get farther down Spring and you see where everyone's at, it is even more packed because right now we're uh, almost at the new year and this fence is also now completed. Storms are still hitting. It's still freezing cold. It's just still a bad environment and the city could absolutely give a crap about the homeless. Uh, today I was, uh, you know, in the news, I mean, every day you see it, but uh, five homeless people died in the city of San Jose yesterday. Uh, these numbers are just skyrocketing right now. The city continued to dismantle people's shelter, uh, impound their vehicles, uh, did not provide adequate shelter, violated a, a ninth district court ruling, Martin versus Boise, in the city that doesn't care, very inhumane.